Hi, may I speak with Brian, please? We do not have an appointment, but we have been trying to get one for a couple weeks, and we'd like to talk to him about J.P. Morgan's involvement in the tax lien industry. We'll be waiting down here, so you can take down my number. J.P. Morgan Chase is one of the world's largest and most respected banks, but some of its money is made off of homeowners who fall behind on taxes and municipal bills. Rather than collect the debt, many cities and counties are auctioning off millions of dollars in so-called tax liens to private investors. It's a little-known business, but it turns out that many of the investors, like J.P. Morgan, are titans of Wall Street. They can rake in thousands of dollars in fees and charge homeowners up to 18% in interest. If you don't pay, you lose your house. It's a rip-off of property owners for those who are simply out to maximize their return. It's a great way to make a buck. The question becomes, do you mind being a vulture? It's been a booming business in some of the areas hardest hit by the recession. Investors say they perform a public service by providing quick cash to local governments in dire need of revenue. But now some investors are facing scrutiny from federal and local authorities. In Washington, D.C., the attorney general is accusing one investor of charging homeowners excessive fees. It's a very fertile ground for fraud and deception. It's also a business the Wall Street isn't talking about. As we pulled records from around the country, we unraveled the web of obscure companies operating out of drop boxes and desolate office parks. Despite the anonymity, we traced the companies back to about a dozen big banks and hedge funds. Well, if major banks are involved, there's got to be some big money. We called the banks over and over again for weeks, but they refused to talk. So we went to New York City to pay them a visit. Now we're going to J.P. Morgan, Bank of America, and several other banks that have been involved in this business. And we're just basically trying to ask them some standard questions. Why are they involved? Has their involvement picked up since they were bailed out? Let's see what we get. J.P. Morgan owns a company called Expand, also known as Plymouth Park Tax Services. As one of the largest tax lien investors in the country, it has relieved cash-strapped cities of millions of dollars in unpaid debts. But some homeowners say they're the ones bearing the cost. My name is Sheila Rice. This is my mother and father's house. We've been here over 40 years. Had a lot of memories. Now, it's in tax trouble. I had my own room. Rice, who lives in Maryland, fell behind on her property taxes when she lost her job in 2006. Before she was able to catch up, Plymouth Park bought her delinquent bills. She had never heard of Plymouth Park. But the company's local lawyer charged her more than $2,000 in fees, in addition to the back taxes she owed. I didn't have any way to pay a lump sum, and they told me they wouldn't take partial payments. They said, pay up or we'll take your home. She put her house up for sale to cover the debt. When we told her that Plymouth Park is owned by J.P. Morgan, she was outraged. I felt like Mr. J.P. Morgan had a vendetta against me, and I don't even know this man. What did J.P. Morgan have to say when they called us back? Hi, Brian, it's Ben Protest. You're not going to participate. I understand that you said it three times, but I would really just like to have five minutes of your time. We've traveled all the way from D.C. No? All right, thank you. Like J.P. Morgan, Bank of America finances companies that have spent millions on tax liens. But that connection is hardly clear because the companies have names like Investments 2234, or Bennu, or Ecru, and they all do business from the same post office box in Atlanta. So we're walking up to Bank of America. I've been trying to get a hold of these guys for a couple of days. It's just ringing. I'm not getting any answers so far. A half hour later, a Bank of America spokeswoman called us back. This is Ben. So, so there's no one today that can talk to us? Striking out with the banks, we moved on to a major hedge fund named Fortress Investment Group. It manages more than $41 billion in assets and is led by former Fannie Mae CEO Daniel Mudd. This year, 17 companies affiliated with Fortress plowed millions into tax liens in Florida. We asked to speak with someone at Fortress, but were denied access once again. They won't talk to us. They refuse to have any conversation with us, even for five minutes and they wouldn't even confirm what floor they're on in this building. We weren't giving up. We crossed the river to New Jersey, where some banks operate their tax lien divisions. We started with one of the companies that's connected to the Fortress Group. It's called Tower Capital Management. We went to the Morristown, New Jersey address listed on Tower's website, Suite 3000, only they weren't listed on the building's directory, and there was no Suite 3000. We tried the third floor instead. We're here at Tower Capital Management, and it's about 3.40 in the afternoon, and no one's home. All we have to show is the sign that is, appears to be printed off uh, and taped, taped on, which shows Tower Capital Management, whereas 
down in the directory downstairs, there's no record of a tower capital management. And we've talked to a few people in the building, and they have no idea what tower capital management is. No, well, they were something else. Now they have a new name, but I don't usually see people in there. Okay. I think I might have seen people go in there a couple times, but usually it's all dark in there. Just down the road is an address listed to expand, the J.P. Morgan Company, which also goes by the name Plymouth Park. Is the company going to expand in here? I don't know. There's a directory right here. Okay. okay, okay. Thank you very much. What we're finding here is just a vacant suite, so I'm not sure what exactly is going on. A UPS delivery man tells us they left a year ago. Well, now we're going to take off and go to the other possible location for Expand. So we're here outside Expand's headquarters in Whippany, New Jersey. The only thing they'll do is show us a number of someone to call in New York. We already called this morning and won't talk to us. Uh, we did confirm that it is J.P. Morgan's building. We had one final stop on our journey, the Sears Tower in Chicago, where another investor, Aon Financial, is located. They too declined to talk to us. Aon has worked with TCF, a Midwestern bank, to purchase liens across the country. We walk down the street to visit Aon's law firm, the company sending threatening collection notices to homeowners. The address listed on the notices? A drop box at a UPS store. Anonymity is a big problem. The District of Columbia's Attorney General also wants to know who's behind Aon and is suing them to find out. So this is a, a scheme whereby Aon and, and uh, others associated with Aon are ripping off the homeowners for fees that are much too high. Aon denies the charges. Nichols, meanwhile, says the company isn't the only investor he's scrutinizing. I mean, this is one of the areas that really needs to get a good scrubbing. That's how Rice feels. She ended up selling her longtime family home to avoid foreclosure. I can see that the county needs their taxes because clearly we need the finances to run the city. But these people add so much more to the original bill that there's no way to climb out from under it. It's like warehousing people into poor houses. 